the peninsula river system peninsula river system seedhe 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 aaram se aaram se seedhe flowing rivers east river flowing rivers kaveri ha kaveri kaveri originates from jog falls in karnataka jog falls in karnataka it drains karnataka and tamil nadu kaveri drains karnataka and tamil nadu on kaveri river shiva samudram dam constructed in karnataka and mature in tamil nadu shiva samudram dam constructed in shiva samudram shiva samudram dam constructed on shiva samudram dam constructed on kaveri river in karnataka mature in tamil nadu near madurai it falls in a bay of bengal kaveri makes a delta in a tamil nadu in tamil nadu <laughs> kaveri water due to the dam construction in a tamil nadu arises as a water dispute in between of karnataka and the tamil nadu karnataka and tamil nadu regarding the kaveri river water second krishna river krishna river krishna originates from a western ghats krishna originates from western ghats western ghats and falls in a bay of bengal in andhra pradesh falls in bay of bengal in andhra pradesh the largest tributary of a krishna is a tungabhadra river tungabhadra river is the largest tributary of krishna on which the tungabhadra river valley project constructed in a karnataka tungabhadra river valley project constructed in karnataka dam constructed on a krishna river nagarjuna sagar dam in andhra pradesh nagarjuna sagar dam constructed on krishna river in andhra pradesh andhra pradesh next third godavari river which is known as a dakshina ganga or vridh ganga dakshina ganga or vridh ganga which joined by their number of tributaries like indavari indravati 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 pen ganga ven ganga p e n ganga w a i n ven ganga indravati bhima are the tributaries of godavari godavari is the oldest river of southern india oldest and the lendiest river of southern india flowing towards the east and falls in a bay of bengal bay of bengal in andhra pradesh next mahanadi river mahanadi originates mahanadi originates sorry godavari drains godavari drains maharashtra telangana and andhra pradesh godavari drains maharashtra telangana and andhra pradesh mahanadi originates from the eastern ghats falls in a bay of bengal near chilika lake on a mahanadi river there is a dam has constructed named as a hirakud dam h i r a k u d hirakud dam constructed on mahanadi river hirakud dam constructed on mahanadi river
Mahanadi River. These are the total number of the rivers of India which are moved towards as the eastern and the western sides. Western sides of India. The eastward flowing rivers bifurcated the eastern ghats into the four river valleys. Four river valleys. Kaveri in Tamil Nadu. Godavari and Krishna in Andhra Pradesh and Mahanadi in Odisha. Mahanadi in Odisha. As compared to this, the western ghats, which are the regular in nature, two of their long rivers, Narmada and Tapi, Narmada and Tapi, they cross the western ghats to Palghat. P A L Palghat. Through the Palghat. Next are the lakes. Lakes. Lake is a water body which is surrounded by the landmass. Lake is a water body surrounded by the landmass. On the basis of on the basis of the presence and formation of a lakes, there are four types of the lakes are there: tectonic lakes, saltwater lakes, freshwater lakes, and artificial lakes. Tectonic lakes are the result of the convergent and the divergent tectonic movements in which the landforms displace landforms displace leads to the formation of a depressions when these depressions are filled with the rain water or a water melted from the glaciers known as a tectonic lakes i am again repeating as a tectonic lakes are those lakes which are the result of a convergent or a divergent movements convergent or divergent movements Convergent or divergent movements, which leads to the formation of a depressions on a surface. These depressions are filled with water through rainfall or snow melted from the glaciers, known as the tectonic lakes. Example, Dal and Wola. D A L Dal and Wola in a Jammu and Kashmir are existed due to the result of a convergent movement. Under influence of a convergent movement, when the three consecutive mountain ranges they appear on a Himalayas, upper, middle, and the lower Himalayas, upper Himalayas, middle Himalayas, and the lower Himalayas. In between of these mountain ranges, the low-lying areas filled with the water, which now presently known as a Wola Lake in Jammu and Kashmir, Dal and Wola Lake. Any questions? Wola and Dal Lakes. Next. Freshwater lakes, tectonic lakes. Next, second, freshwater lakes. Freshwater lakes. I'm again repeating as a tectonic lakes when lakes are resulted, the water bodies surrounded by the landmass are the result of convergent or divergent movements. Convergent or divergent movements due to which, as a depressions appeared on a surface filled with the rain water or snow melted from the glaciers such type of lakes are known as a tectonic lakes example wola w u l a r wola and dal next freshwater lakes freshwater lakes are situated at the upper parts of the himalayas these are result of the collection of a water from the snow melted from Glaciers, snow melted from glaciers, fresh water lakes. Example, Nainital, Bhimtal, Himachal Pradesh, Nainital, Bhimtal, Loktak, Barapani, Barapani, B A N I, B A R R for rat, A. E N I. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Artificial lakes are the result of the human activities when humans 
constructed as a lakes for their recreation for their recreation example sukhna lake enjoyment recreation second generation of the hydroelectricity generation of hydroelectricity generation of hydroelectricity example gobind sagar gobind sagar lake in bhakranangal gobind balapant sagar in rehand dam rehand sagar dam constructed on a son river gobind balapant sagar lake second as a gobind sagar lake in a bhakranangal dam such lakes which are known for the accumulation of a water that accumulated water falls on a turbines with the rotation of a turbines generators rotates through which the hydroelectricity generates through which the hydroelectricity generates gobind pant gobind balab pant sagar gobind balab pant sagar on rehand sagar dam on son river gobind sagar lake on a bhakranangal dam third fresh water lakes next sorry fourth fresh water lakes fresh ho gayi salt water lakes salt water lakes salt water lakes generally as a carved on a coastal regions coastal regions where depressions are filled with the depressions filled with salt water saline water during high tides during high tides example chilika lake in odisha chilika in odisha chilika in odisha which is the example of a dash in india chilika is the best example of a dash not a lake not a lake lagoon lagoon chilika is an example of a lagoon l a g double o n lagoon is a such kind of a water body such kind of water body in which in which depth of depth of water is a lesser means it is a that part of a it is a that part of a water body that part of water body which submerge the continental shelf which submerge continental shelf continental shelf less submerge continental shelf example chilika lake other vembanand in kerala vembanand v e m b a n a n d vembanand salt water lake in kerala sambar in rajasthan sambar in rajasthan it is a result of sambar in rajasthan is the result of sambar in rajasthan is the result of high evaporation due to high temperature evaporation due to high degree of temperature evaporation due to high degree of temperature leads to the evaporation of a water which remains as a salt content on a surface in ocean water through the rivers rivers brought the larger quantities of a sediments so mouths of a rivers they are the rich in a salt and the equatorial areas these two parts of the oceans are the rich or a high high quantities of a salt compared to the rest of the world yes river flows through the slopes of a mountains it erodes the sediments through the slopes of mountains jo rock salt hai mountain se nikala jata hai glacier ke andar salt nahi hai sediments ke andar salt hai rocks ke andar salt hai such salts which are carried by the river dissolved by the river water and deposited in a oceans this is as a source of water source of salt in equatorial areas 0 degree 0 to 10 degree north and south 
zero to ten degree north and south due to the high evaporation. High evaporation, salt existence is more lies in equatorial areas and mouths of river. Okay. Any other? Any other question? Yes. Significance of rivers. Rivers are the lifelines of economy. Rivers are lifelines of economy. Lifelines generally as a such part of a human body which helps to transmit the blood in a different organs, arteries and the veins. So same as the rivers, they play the role of a transmitting the in transmitting goods and the passengers from one place towards other. So rivers are the lifelines of economy through which a larger quantities of a goods and passengers they are transmitting towards a different parts of a country. In India, there are the inland waterways. They are function to the rivers. Inland waterways function to rivers. India's longest inland waterway, inland waterway on Ganga River interlinks. Very good answer. Second longest inland waterway walk to the Brahmaputra. Second longest waterway of India, inland waterway. It has works on a Brahmaputra river, Brahmaputra river, Brahmaputra river from Guwahati to, from Guwahati to, Guwahati to Dhubri, D-H-U-B-R-I, full stop, वैसे पांच हैं total, बाकी छोड़ दो. India's second longest inland waterway on Brahmaputra river, from Guwahati to Dubri, total five hai, wo next year padho gaya. Ek Udyog Mandal Canal hai, it's in a Kerala, Vambanan and Kolam to the Kottayam. These three in a Kerala. Wo chor do. Yes, question. Second, rivers, rivers contribute in, Vijesh, change your seat. Come here. Rivers contribute in a growth of the cities, civilization. Most number of the civilizations of the world, they develop on a river banks. Indus Valley civilization. Second is a Huang Ho Valley civilization of China. Egyptian civilization on a Nile River. Egyptian civilization on a Nile River. So civilizations develop. Why? Because regular supply of water, supply of water for agriculture and uh, settlements needs as a huge quantities of water. That's why the civilizations develop along the river banks. Along river banks. Third, navigation. Rivers support to the navigation. lifelines. Third is a rivers contribute in industrialization. Industrialization in the northeastern states, northeastern states of a West Bengal. So industrialization in a north east of a country, West Bengal, 70 jute mills are concentrated along the jute mills concentrated in West Bengal, West Bengal, along the basin of a Ganga, along Ganga basin, along Ganga basin. It's due to the growth of inland waterways. Rivers, rivers brought the materials from the fields towards the industry and industry towards the port areas. Industries towards the port areas. Next, rivers are supportive for the agriculture practices. Agricultural practices. Large amount of sediments brought by the river. Increase the fertility of our soils. Such fertile soils of Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Rajasthan, sorry, Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, West Bengal, supportive for the growth of agricultural practices. These lands are rich in a high fertile alluvial soils, fertile alluvial soils. India's 60 percentage of the grains are produced to the these four states. Punjab, 
हरियाणा उत्तर प्रदेश एंड वेस्ट बंगाल यूसे से प्रोड्यूस इट्स सिक्सटी परसेंटेज ऑफ द सीरियल्स सिक्सटी परसेंट